Shh. They're telling secrets to each other. I wonder what they're saying. I don't know. It's kind of spooky. I don't know. I kind of like it, though. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Rami's Retro. Today, um, after work, I decided we would take a little drive and uh, head over to Sun City. We have not been into the vintage part of town for quite some time. So we are at the Sun Dome Goodwill. It's on 137th Avenue and R.H. Johnson Boulevard. That doesn't mean anything to people who don't live in Phoenix, but to people who do live in Phoenix, uh, that is far <laughs> from the center of town anyway. Um, so uh, it took us about 20 minutes to drive here, which is a good thing because I noticed as I was leaving work that my phone had like 14%. Um, I don't know what happened while I was at work today, but my phone completely drained of all of its juice. So um, I let it charge for a little bit. We're at like 26%. I hope that's enough to get a video, um, but we're going to head inside and see what kind of fun we can find. Um, I'm really excited. Let's get started. Okay, well, it's a little busy today, so we're going to get started in baggies and see if there's any fun stuff for us back here. Um, let's check it out. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. Yikes. I guess if you make little dolls, it's perfect, but it's definitely creepy to be in the little bag. Not loving that. A bunch of shells back here. Shells can have value, but... I don't really know a lot about which ones are valuable and which ones aren't. There's quite a few. Looks like there's some fun pieces of silver in here. Um, probably just silver plate, nothing that's too, too expensive. It looks like that piece is broken. Old style clothes pins. That's interesting. What is that? Is that like a shoe stretcher? But like super old kind? I don't know. That's very interesting. What in the world is that? That's gotta be what it is, right? That's like the shoe part? I don't know. Huh. Interesting. Well, doesn't look like there's too much for us in baggies. Um, so let's see what else we can find, what other aisles we can get into. Well, we've got art right here. Let's check out art really quick. These are pretty down here. I like those, but they're just prints. Um, but they are very pretty and the frame is pretty. Well, these are interesting too. I like those. Big Ben. Again, just a print. It's very 80s. I don't have to constantly yell and talk in this Goodwill because it's kind of quiet. The music is on, but it's really low, and so I don't need to go crazy. Teddy bears make the best friends. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Compliments of Ross Laboratories. Teddy Bear Friends. Does it have a year on it? 1982. I really like that. It's only $4.49. Um, I think I'm going to grab this. I really like it. That's really neat. All right. Well, let's check out wood. See if there's any goodies in here. Looks like they've also got some frames and things here. Mixed in. Some art pieces and stuff. I like the frame on that. It's interesting. This is like a big train locomotive. A little totem. Totem pole guy. Alaska craft. It's kind of a fun little shelf. Ceramic. And the praying hands. That's interesting. Let's check that out. I like that. It's kind of in relief. Modern Art Company, 549. It's actually chalkware. Um, I really like that. I think we're going to get that for 549. Throw that in the cart. Oh my goodness. Here we go. So we got a bunch of these guys. Windsor Castle, 649. Ouch. All right, 649 is a little steep. Um, 
349. I would I would probably be picking some of these up at 349. Skyline of Vancouver, that's cool. Somebody wrote 2000 on it though on there. That's not so great. Um Fantasia Land. Interesting. To Mom and Dad Love Jim, August of 83. 649 on all of these, huh? Is a bummer. That whole top portion is busted on this one. 749. So we're gonna leave all those guys behind. I've sold all of them but one um, that I that I previously purchased, so they do sell for sure. Um, but I'm not going to spend 650 on them. Home sweet home, I like that with the little handmade house. That's really cute. It's a picture frame, 349, huh? I like that. It does have a little bit of damage though. Oh, it is really cute though. 349. I'll have to think about that guy. Maybe even look him up, see if he's one of a kind or if there's other ones listed. The sea has its pearls, the heavens have their stars, but the treasure of the heart is love. Oh, that's cute. Lovely sentiment. It's a big salad bowl. Oh, please, nobody fall. Nothing break, please. Well, that's going to be it for us in wood. Here's a little dresser caddy. Um, those are kind of fun. Two forty-nine on that. That's really not that bad. And it looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Uh, we might pick that guy up for two forty-nine. Let's go for it. Why not? Um, I think it'll probably sell pretty well. Guys do still use those. Six forty-nine. All right, well, let's swing around the corner. Okay, well, let's see what we've got in figurines. There's quite a bit to look at. Um, so let's jump in, see what we've got. These are sweet little guys. I've seen these before. Um, that same one, I think, I've seen before. I like this Mary and Joseph. It's like a handmade piece or hand glazed at least. $12.49 on that. Ooh, what's that little geisha girl back there? Is that a hairspray cover? Oh, it is a hairspray cover. Five forty-nine. I really like that. I've never seen one like that before. We are going to pick her up. She's probably worth about forty bucks. Um, I've never seen a little geisha girl. He's cute with his little kitty cat or puppy dog. I'm not quite sure what that is. These guys are cute back here. Four forty-nine. Got some nativity figures. Little Mary and Joseph, but no baby Jesus. He's nowhere to be seen. Silent Night. That's a music box. This angel's really pretty. I've got a couple that are similar to it. I haven't listed them yet. 849 on her. I think for 849 we're gonna leave her for somebody else. This is really pretty. Oh, another music box for 749. Little pilgrim figures. She's got quite the face, doesn't she? She almost looks like she's surprised. Alright, let's swing on over to the next section here. And the little ducks are cute. Some little bunnies back there, those are cute. It doesn't do the same thing. 449 on those. I like the owl, that's cute. 849 on the lemons. little glass swans with a ceramic flower. It's kind of pretty. Well, we've got some little plates and things here. Actually, quite a few plates. So let's see. Let's see what we've got. Mikayos. 
and these little beer steins. We've run into quite a few of these. And I told you the story about how my mom had a bunch when I was little and she sold them at a garage sale. I don't know what they're worth, so. Oh, Dubrovnik. That's in Yugoslavia. My family's from there, 249. I'm picking that up for sure. I'm getting that for me. That's a sweet little studio piece for 249, a little candle holder. I like that and it's signed. I think I'll grab that as well. Uh oh, looks like we got a new cart. Let's check and see what we got here. 449, it looks like Fitz and Floyd, it is. Um, for Christmas, it's kind of pretty. Well, I scanned over the cart really quick and there wasn't anything that was fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and let people um, kind of go through it and let the guy stock it and then we'll run through the aisles and see what we see what we see see if we find anything fantastic we uh, kind of just got here so I mean we haven't seen so much stuff yet so let's check it out 149 on that I really like the glaze on that it's a sweet little bowl I can't see what it says though on the bottom um, but I really really like it for $1.49. I think we're gonna throw it in the cart and at least kind of look it up. And this is all kind of clear glass, bakeware-y, serveware kind of stuff. So we don't need any of that. And then we're sliding into bowls here. So let's see what kind of bowls we got. <coughs> Excuse me. Those are kind of cute. Oh, they're heavy. Oh, no maker's mark or anything on them. I like the color though, the color bands. Okay, nothing down here. Looks like we might have a couple of old plates right here. Let's see if we can get to them without breaking anything. Oh, well, they are old, but they're underwhelming. Um, and they're also sold each. I don't know why Goodwill's started to do that, um, selling them as eaches, but I think we're going to pass on those guys. Oh my goodness, that's cute too, but $4.49, my goodness. All right. And then we got little, little plates and saucers. Doesn't look like there's really anything for us here. Um, that's kind of a neat little plate. These are sold in the eaches too, 99 cents each. I do like the pattern on that. No maker's mark or anything on it. Okie dokie. Oh, looks like there's some artichoke trays over there. I want to take a look at the $3.49 each. Those are Gantz. Um, I think I'm going to grab those for $3.49. Maybe it's $3.49 for the both of them. Oh no, that one's $4.49. Interesting. $3.49 and $4.49. So I guess this is another one of those times that I'll see what happens. Well, they pulled out another cart and I grabbed this. I can't read what that says on the bottom, um, but it's definitely a very pretty piece of art glass. So I think we're gonna go ahead and pick that up for $7.49. All right, let's see what's in uh, vases and things. This kind of caught my eye, but it's not a vase. It's probably also not old. Nope. It's like a candle holder, I guess, for a pillar. Pillar holder. $5.49 on that guy. Ooh, what's that? That's lovely. How much is this? This doesn't have a price. Handmade in Greece. It's not damaged, so we'll, we're going to get a price for that. We will find out how much it is, for sure. Well, there's something back there I want to check out, too. Let's see if we can get to it. Oh, it's got tons of damage on it. That's too bad. Aw. Okay, well, we'll put him back where, where we found him. big thing. It looks like it might have had a lid on it at one time. Not old though. 
A little planter with his laces. I like that. 149. We've got one similar though, so we'll go ahead and leave him behind. And we're going into glass faces and things. Nothing here for us though. Just a bunch of basic glass. Well, I think this is a uh, Fenton. Looks like the only one that's sold um, was a, a best offer. So I don't know how much it's sold for. It was listed for 70. Um, and I don't really know anything about milk glass, but I think I'm gonna take a chance on this guy. He's 1249, but I've never seen a lidded jar like this before. Um, it's like a cookie jar, a cracker jar or something. Like I've seen all those kinds of pieces, but never a jar. So I think we're gonna take a chance on it. I'm really loving this too. It's a stained glass. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but it's only $12.49. So I think I'm gonna pick that guy up too. He's really cool. My phone's getting pretty low, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to uh, to film anything. But let's check out candles and candle holders. See if there's any fun stuff in here. Nothing we can't live without, I don't think. Oh, there's some more stained glass. It's a cross for $4.49. No breaks or anything. Doesn't look like it, so I think we might pick that up. And then what's this? I think a flower, maybe? $4.49 on that as well. Kind of an abstract sort of flower sort of job. I think we'll pick that up too. What about this guy? $4.49 on that too, huh? Well, I like it. I like those. Uh-oh. All right, nothing in candles. These are really cool. Um, an old and vintage flour and sugar, but they're really, really, really damaged and they're filthy dirty. Filthy dirty is not a problem, but you can see how they're stained and kind of chipped and all the paint's chipping. So we're going to have to pass on those guys. Um, I'm going to have to probably get back to you guys in the car um, because my battery is dying very fast. I'm going to go ahead and pick that guy up too. He goes with my Arthur artichoke plates. Um, so I'm gonna grab him, but my phone's gonna die. And um, so I'm gonna probably have to cut this video a little short. That's a big bummer. I wanna see what this is down here. Um, or I'll at least have to just sort of do like little snippets when I find something and I'll get back to you in the video. That's Francoma. That's kind of nice for 349 there aren't any chips or anything on it so I think we'll pick that up for sure and then what's this oh it's flashed I can already see the, the paint coming off so yeah we'll pass on that um, but if I find anything else I'll get back to you guys this um, pasta vintage enamelware is really pretty and it's in really good condition this one's $7.49, and then there's a littler guy down here for $6.49, and I think I'm going to pick those up. I like him too, um, but he does not have his lid, and he is $8.49. Um, he would be great if he had his lid. Maybe I'll look for his lid, but so far it's just these two guys, so I'm going to go. Ran into these vintage frames for $2.49 each. That one's still got the little little guy inside there um, but they're by Norleans so I'm definitely gonna pick those up for five bucks I found this white fishy plate he's got some yuck on him but I think it'll wash off um, he's made in Japan it also says something else there I can't tell what it says signature maybe but for 649 I think I'm gonna pick that guy up um, for the white sale that I have yet to have <laughs> and then this is hand blown a uh, little a container, a little bowl for $3.49. It's really pretty, so I'm gonna definitely grab that too. Then I think we might be heading to the front. Um, I've been through the aisles a few times and my battery's about to die, so I think we're gonna head on out and call it a day. Hi, everybody.
they just put this out. <clears throat> I'm really loving it. It's in a pink and gold frame. It's so pretty. Pink lady. She's $9.49 though. Um, and she's kind of big. And I've got lots of art right now. So I'm going to leave her behind. But I really like <clears throat> There's this platter here that's $2.49. I kind of dug for it. Obviously moved all this stuff out of the way. And it's the same pattern as those plates that we saw for $0.99 cents each. And I think there's some value here. So I'm going to pick up this and sell it as a set. So there's five plates and then the serving platter. Um, I like I did a little bit better examining on this plate and I realized that those are more like uh, scratches that have yuck in them. So I can't really clean, I can't clean that off on his little fin there. So I'm gonna have to leave this guy behind. Shh, they're telling secrets to each other. I wonder what they're saying. I don't know. It's kind of spooky. I don't know, I kind of like it though. Well, we had pink lady over there and now we've got blue boy over here. And I've never seen an actual figurine before. I love him. I want to get him so bad. He's uh, $5.49, but the problem with him is that he's got a big chip on his back of his head there. Um, and there are no solds. And there are a couple listed for like 10 bucks. So there's no value there. But he is... Okay, well, we had a really good haul today. $93 we spent. Uh, the cashier was fantastic. He helped me wrap everything nice and securely. And... So we're ready to head home. Uh, the phone is at 8%. <laughs> so just in time. Um, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for subscribing and liking my channel. Um, I'm at a ro on a road to 1,000 subscribers. Um, by the 15th of this month is my goal. Uh, that will be my six-month mark uh, from starting to make these videos. So I really wanted to get to 1,000 subscribers within six months. And as we uh, film this, we're at 952 so very, very close. Um, please consider subscribing if you have not. Uh, thank you for joining me as always. And um, until next time, you guys have safe travels in your journeys. And I will see you later. Bye.